Hi, I've got this PowerBoost 500C, which is designed so you plug it in with USB and you get this to charge your battery. And here's also 5 volts here, so you can plug in, let's say, your Raspberry Pi on the 5 volts. And, and you can power your, let's say, Raspberry Pi from a battery. And then you can charge the battery through this. And when you pull out the charger, uh, your 5 volts stays constant. Now, according to the data sheet, it should give you between 500 to, well, really 2 amps. Made if it doesn't support 2 amps, it only supports 1 amp on the battery, and your charge current has a maximum of 500 milliamps. Uh, there is a 5, there's a 1000C, which is designed to charge a battery at 1000 milliamps, MAHs, milliamps, sorry. But it's not available in the UK. Now, when I was noticing this, I turned it on safely, without anything else. And immediately you notice that there's a low power. Uh, so I'm assuming it's detecting that there's no current draw, or the volt, the battery voltage is very low. And it's saying here that it's fully charged. The green means here, fully charged, and the USB means USB is plugged in. There's also power here, which means something on this board is powered. We do a beep test. I notice that the grounds are not isolated. So here the ground and the ground on USB, the ground on there, and the ground on the 5 volts. They're all the same ground. And then I measured inside measure the voltages. So at the output stage you get a voltage of about 5 volts. And this is the output of the lithium ion is 3.92 volts. It should in theory go up to 4.2 volts but I haven't noticed this and when I do charge batteries to a power supply I usually put them up to 4.2 volts. So this is 3.9 volts and the output of the USB, this is the input side of the USB, you usually wouldn't plug to this. That also gives you, that's 5.03 and the output 5 volts here it says 5.1. According to Adafruit, it should be 5.2, but I'm not complaining here. It's not that big of a deal. If you look here, there's a breakout. So if I wanted to solder wires from a battery, for example, I've got this phone here, which the USB side of it is completely dead. So it got pulled out and all the pads are all gone, so you can't solder another USB on there. So what I did is I soldered two wires from the battery connector from the inside of this, of this connector. So you can read the battery, it's not soldered directly to the battery, but to the battery connector. And I was able to charge this phone through a power supply through these two wires. But what if you didn't have a power supply and it's not convenient to charge your phone every time through a power supply? So I was considering using this board lowering it here and putting these wires to these holes or really to those holes down there so you've got battery and I did measure the battery voltage on here and that's 3.9 volts which is exactly the same as that and did do a beep test to prove that battery is the same thing here. Now what happens if I put if I put my multimeter in current mode, it has like a hundred ohm resistor on inside. So if I put these around the battery and simulate a battery or some sort of load. We see that the charged light is off. That means it's no longer, well, it's not longer fully charged. And the power light's on. And that's it. This is about 47 milliamps. 
which is not bad. According to the current data fruit, these LEDs are super bright, so they use about 20 milliamps. But if you turn down, if you turn them off, I haven't figured out how, you can get about uh, microamps, five microamps, I believe. Yeah, five, uh, tw 20 microamps, and they use five milliamps when they're on. It's supposed to have a 90% operating efficiency, which is quite good. Now we've tested that out, but there's also this low battery. Now, right now, this low battery and voltage. This low battery is saying 3.5 volts. This low battery is supposed to go to an IC and tell you when you've got a low battery. Now, 3.5 volts will take out your IC if you've got a Raspberry Pi. What's supposed to happen is this uh, this low battery should go to zero when the battery has a low voltage, which is ironic because look, we've got low voltage and the, it thinks it's a low battery, but the pin hasn't dropped down to zero volts. When instead, it's gone down to 3.5, and you wouldn't want to plug this in. It's designed if it was done right. It's designed so that if you detect this has gone down to ground, start turning off your Raspberry Pi because a low battery has been detected. However, if you did put this to the Raspberry Pi, you get 3.5 volts. If you do this with a real life battery, rather than it switched off, so I'm going to put this to ground. I'm not going to solder it here because I want to do more testing on this board. There you go, it thinks it's charged, it's charging. The battery's more or less charged anyway. And I do that, I get 4 volts. And that's charging. So, if you really put this to an IC, you will take it out. Especially a Raspberry Pi. Um, there are 4 LEDs, the blue ones just power, in the case that there's some sort of 5 volt power on the output side. Red is a just a voltage is low. Well, I believe it turns off when when, it's got, when the voltage isn't low. We haven't been able to find out how to turn off these LEDs if you don't want to continuously use power from those. There is an enable pin on this board. Now if we measure the voltage on it, it says minus 2.9 volts, so it's about high. It's actually a VBAT. Now if you pull this low, it will take out the output. And if I set my multimeter to to beep test mode, and I show this to ground, the output should disappear. Actually, appear. Not much will happen to the light when I turn it off. The power goes out, and the low battery goes out. And the charge is actually flickering, but the camera can't see that. Now, if I put a real battery in there. Not much happens actually. You just see the power light go off. And I'm putting the enable to grab permanently to see the output with the voltage for the for the voltmeter. So here is the enable to ground. The charge light appears to be vibrating. I don't know why. I'm getting 4.1 volts. That will be charging the battery. Zero volts. Zero volts on the output, which makes it work. So yes, when you pull this enable low, you're actually turning off this output, but the battery carries on charging, which is nice. But there was still one more that one problem with a low battery. Even when there was a battery plugged in, the low battery cannot be plugged into an IC unless you have some sort of voltage divider. Otherwise, it's a pretty cool uh, battery charger, really. There are two important chips on this board. This TPS6109. This is a boost converter, converts a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery to a 5 volt output. There's also this one, this one right here, which is a charge controller. 
you can charge a battery. And even if we made boards with just this on, we just wanted to charge a battery and didn't want a 5 watt output. Uh, they call it a micro lipo with micro USB jack. Another thing to note is I looked at the schematic for this, and if you wanted this in a low power environment, so you didn't want the LEDs to be on, especially when you've got this battery, and especially when you have a battery there and you don't want any LEDs, the only way to turn off the LEDs is to actually pull them out. And when you do pull them out, the circuitry should, in theory, work. I did have a look at them. Um, and it looks like the green and orange LEDs here, they're just connected in series. The only way to turn them off is just to pull them out. Uh, the power LED is connected to 5 volts and then to ground. You can just pull that out, pull the resistor out. Uh, what else do we have? We have the red low power LED. That can actually be useful, but if it's inside a box, you wouldn't see it. And I'm looking for it. There it is. It's just connected to a transistor as a software switch. Well, yeah. It's just a software switch from this leg of the thing. Oh, okay, and it wouldn't make a difference. Yeah, you're better off to removing this transistor. That might actually reduce your power. But if you want to be safe, remove just the LED. And again, this low bat, anyway, this low bat was dangerous because you really don't want that plugged in. Otherwise, yeah, it's fine. You can't control the battery charging at all. There's no enable pin on the battery. The only way you can do that is to turn off the battery, so you can't have a high side switch with this uh, to turn off the battery, because uh, the charge circuitry here is completely separate to the output circuitry. Finally, thank you and goodbye. Have fun with the sport.